It's all about hope, kindness, and a connection with one's fellow man. Project Angel Food has been here for 25 years. They have been feeding people for 25 years. People are living longer because of Project Angel Food. Volunteerism matters. I volunteer with Project Angel Food only because I get more than what I give. I realized that we would not be able to do what we do here at Project Angel Food if it wasn't for the volunteers. I moved to Los Angeles in 1988 and I had a dear friend who was uh, dying of AIDS at the time. I had a friend that passed away of AIDS and um, I remember someone bringing him food. I could see the joy on his face of everyone coming together and just loving on him. After Michael passed away, I had started to go to Marianne Williamson's lectures, and she would tell us how she was starting this organization, Project Angel Food. At that time, there was no hope. If you were told that you were HIV positive, that was an automatic, absolute death sentence. Once we started Project Angel Food, oh, food for homebound people with AIDS. People got it, and the whole city showed up in such beautiful, extraordinary ways. Hello, I'm Judith Light. I can't think of anything more rewarding than helping someone in need. Yes, it is I, Bette Midler, but this is no ordinary kitchen. No, 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 no. This is Project Angel Food. It was a time when we were all worried and afraid, and so it took some courage to step out there and, and do it. When we first started, we were in this tiny kitchen on Fairfax and Fountain. It was very mom and pop, very hands-on. We really are saving lives because they wouldn't eat without this service. It was magic. We started with nothing. We had nothing. I ran this whole thing on little yellow stickies because we didn't have a computer. We would get instructions, you know, like a little puzzle. Little, sometimes they were real simple and sometimes they weren't so simple. And we knew the stove didn't work, so we had to get that to work, and we had to get a refrigerator donated. There was such a need to help. We cared so much, and there was so much love going around that was genuine. It was not just do-gooding, you know. It was from the heart. I remember it was, you know, 30 meals and 40 meals and 50 meals, and we said, oh my God, well, what are we going to do when it's 100 meals? What are we going to do when it's 200 meals? And the numbers just kept going up. We moved uh, to the new kitchen in 1994 and I think we were serving about 450 people a day. And that was a lot of people for those days. We really were stretched. And now then walking into a very professional kitchen, walking into a very professional office, seeing the same work being done much more efficiently and serving a lot more people. Project Angel Food helps so many different people. It's not just an HIV organization anymore. Um, being able to put the food inside the trays, to know that when they, when people who are getting these trays, opening it up, just know that we put a lot of love in it. I love the volunteers. I think the volunteers are awesome. There's no Project Angel Food without the volunteers. And I tell people, it's like you're making a difference by being here, cooking these meals. Even though it seems like it's so redundant, uh, it's important to make it with intention, like you're cooking for someone that cannot get out of their beds. Volunteers actually make events happen. There's so many different ways for volunteers to be involved with Project Angel Food. Um, beading, the feed beads are a huge part. The gardens have made a difference in the meals. They're very, very beautiful, like vegetables. Very beautiful hue of red and orange. Working in this garden makes me feel good that I'm helping feed people. Even though I'm not preparing the food, I'm helping grow it. And, I, I, and I've told so many friends that, you know, you really have to get outside of your little world and help others. It helps you more than it helps the others. It really does. Volunteering for Project Angel Food will give you your little angel wings. You can't see mine, but they're fluttering right now. Oh!